Okay, this is a uh, video for this solar oven from truckcitycbgps.com. Uh, I bought it for $70. I think that included shipping. It's now $120. Uh, I think with shipping, I think that's a pretty good deal still. Uh, I'm going to try to describe like a typical day where you could pretty much get most of your cooking done with this every day, even maybe even somewhat cloudy weather. I had two cloudy days this this week, and um, it managed to stay above inside the chamber 140 degrees most of the time. Um, I'll show you what I'm using here. This is just something to hold it, hold the uh, top on. I bought this top at Walmart for about ten bucks, right here. Um, it's silicone, so you can get up to you know four hundred fifty degrees or something, and still be, um, you know, it's not going to break down. I have inside of this uh, another piece of silicone that I bought. Um, it's just, I don't know, some kind of cake thing or something. And then this is silicone that I put some, you know, aluminum foil in. Maybe they stop some of the radiant heat. You can get a better design than this. I'm just, maybe you just wad up some aluminum foil and put some silicone around it or something. Or just leave the aluminum foil. I just didn't want to, I suppose water's still kind of getting up in here now. But I was trying to get something so it wouldn't get a lot of water up in there. But something to insulate it a little bit. Probably, maybe you don't even need it. I never didn't, didn't do any real trials with uh, without this to see if it. I'm sure it helps a lot, but I mean I don't know exactly how much. Inside here now I have some food. This looks a little disgusting because there's. I just got it out. I still have it heat. I'm gonna eat it tomorrow. There's some. There's just some leftovers I had. Underneath that I have some grits that I have had in there for a couple days and I'm pretty sure they stayed above 140. This right here that aligning it is a, a liner um, that I bought from Walmart for about ten dollars. It uh, just Teflon coated get get up to 550 degrees with it. I did that because of these bags that I'm using uh, they're turkey bags or goose bags and I don't know how much they are for sure. Maybe twenty bucks or less, or ten. Or maybe it's less than that. I can't remember. Maybe it's ten bucks. Um, these are these would stick inside this glass chamber, and it'd be hard to pull something out. Like if you had a half gallon of rice or something, it'd be hard to pull out. So this Teflon liner allows you to either pull out the Teflon liner or pull out the bag easily. Um, I tried oven bags from Reynolds. I didn't; those broke within two or three times. Um, the bottom seam would break out, and I read that a lot of people have that problem online. It seems like, uh, but these bags, the goose bags, um, they they still get holes in them eventually, but they seem to work better. One thing I was worried about there, I was thinking about today, was I suppose if you have a really hot day and you're boiling a lot of water in there and you have this bag stuff in there, perhaps maybe there'd be a lot of steam pressure build up. I've never had that problem. Uh, you know, the heat's going to transfer through the bag pretty easily, so you wouldn't think that would happen, but it feels it's a possibility. I've had rice in there stuffed pretty tight before and I haven't had that happen, so I don't think it is a problem, but it's possible. Um, Anyway, the, the way I was going to talk about this was through a day. Um, say you want something hot in the morning, and you want, you know, you could have cooked it the, the previous day and then put it in here, kind of like a thermos bottle, a thermos bottle cooking. Um, and it'll stay above 140 on, like, the cloudy days this week. Uh, so I went to bed, it was about... I read the temperature was 156 just with an oven thermometer. 
I don't know. I might want to come close to that. If I can hear it better. Um, it was 156, and it went down to 140, so it only dropped 16 degrees overnight. And it went down to 156. Normally, it's a lot higher before you go to bed because it was cloudy that day. And um, so then the next day, it was completely cloudy, and it went from one... Um, it went from 156 to 140, then it actually rose about 3 degrees with completely cloudy weather, 143. And then I put some hot water in it. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, it raised to 150 or so. So it was about 150 before I went to bed, and then went down to about 135. So it dropped about 15 degrees. Actually, it was like 150 to 130. So it did drop below critical temperature for a while, but I don't think it was enough to or anything. Um, so you you just get up in the morning. I have it sitting over here usually in the morning with uh, you know with the lid on. This lid will come down here pretty well. And and if it gets on there tight enough, you know when the steam condenses, you'll have a, a partial vacuum, and this thing will actually kind of come in a little bit. And, you know, it'll look like that maybe. Or some, one time I had it, it was almost completely flat. Sometimes it doesn't form that great a vacuum, but it's still pretty warm in there. Uh, you can put something over top. Taking it inside just because the, you know, the wind or something might be bad. Um, so you get up, you know, take your food out, and then you can take it outside in the morning, set it up. And we'll, I'll show you that here in a second. Um, okay. Okay. 